Welcome back to Learn Arabic with Manner. In today's lesson, we will continue talking about the parts of the body. In the first part, we talked about the parts of the head and we used them in expressions. You could check it over there if you didn't see it yet. Today, we will continue talking about the rest parts of the body and we will use them in, exp in common expressions. Yalla, let's start. First, we will see the parts of the body and after we will see expressions are using the parts of the body and we will see when to use these expressions in daily life. Neck, ra'be, shoulder, kitif, shoulders, kitaf, hand, eid, hands, idain, elbow, kua, finger, isba, fingers, asabe. Nail, dufur. Nails, adafir. Chest, sudur. Back, dahar. Belly, button. Leg, rijl. Legs, rijlain. Knee, rikbe. Knees, rikab. Before we go to see the expressions, I want to explain to you some notes about the parts of the body. In Arabic, in the spoken language, we don't use like the part for the arm from here to here. We don't use it is dra. It's less used than id. So I when I would say ed, I could mean this part or I could mean this part altogether. So it's dra the this part. It's less used than id. Also, the the fingers, the hand fingers and the toes are the same in Arabic. It is usba. So if you want to tell the difference between the hand fingers, you would say usba idi. About the toes, you will say usba rijli. You have to, to connect it with hand or foot. Also, the leg. The whole leg, it is rijl. The foot, it is adam or qadam. And the it's less used than rijl. So in the spoken language, at least in Syria, they would say rijli, my leg, and they could mean any part of the leg. This, this note, it depends on the region. So some region in the Levantine dialect, they would use this part. Some regions, they won't use it. They will just say id to mean the whole arm. They could say rijl to mean the whole leg and foot. And that's it. Let's go to see the expressions. You could say, أنا الكتف يلي بتسند عليه. I am the shoulder that you could lean on it. Let's see each word. أنا, it is I. الكتف, the shoulder. يلي, that, بتسند, you lean on, عليه, on it. الكتف يلي بتسند عليه. If someone is generalizing and saying everyone is the same and you don't agree with them, you could say in this case, Your fingers are not all the same. Asabak, it is your fingers. Mumitil, not mu, it is the negation, not. Mitil baad, all the same. So here you are saying people are different, don't generalize. If you really think that someone is a big support for you and you count on them, you could tell them Inte idi liyamin. What does it mean? Inte it is you. If you are talking to a man, you could say inti if you are talking to a woman. Idi my hand iliamin the right. So here you are comparing them to your right hand that you are using it to do every everything in your daily life this expression could be changed and used used in different cases like you could say i'm your right hand in this case you are telling the person that they can count on you and you will be support for them so you could say idak il yamin if you are talking to a man إيدك اليمين if you are talking to a woman أنا إيدك اليمين أنا إيدك اليمين 
If you were waiting support from someone and they weren't there for you, in this case you could say Darli Dahro. He turned his back to me. Darli, it means he turned Dahro his back. In this way you are telling that this person weren't there for me when I needed him. If you are talking about a woman, you could say Darit li dahra. Dar li dahra, darit li dahra. If you got invited somewhere and you don't really want to go, but you went anyway because you had to, so in this case you could say I went hesitating. Rijil la idam, rijil la wara. One step forward, one step backwards. Rijil, it is the whole leg, but we are using it to talk about the foot and the, its steps. So, Rijil, la iddam, la, it is to, iddam, forward. A, wu, it is and, Rijil, and this is another foot or step, la wara, to the back. Rijil, la iddam, Rijil, la wara. Let me know in a comment if you have any expression similar to this expression that we use in Arabic. If you have any question, leave me a comment and I will answer you. Before we go over our phrases for today, as usual, I would like to let you know that I'm on coffee now. If you like what I'm doing on this channel and you want to show your support, you could check the link in the description and in the first comment. Thank you for your support in advance. Now let's go over our words for today. Nank, ra'be, shoulder, kitif, shoulders, kitaf, hand, eid, hands, idain, elbow, kua, finger, usba, fingers, asabe, nail, dufur, nails, adafer, chest, sudur, back, dahr. Belly, button. Leg, rigid. Legs, rigid. Knee, rikbe. Knees, rikab. Ana, al kitif, yelli, tusnod, ale. I am the shoulder that you could lean on it. Asabak, mumit al baad. Your fingers are not all the same. Inta eid al yameen. You are my right hand. Ana eidak al yameen. I am your right hand masculine. Ana ida kiliamin. I am your right hand feminine. Darli dahro. He turned his back to me. Rijilla edda, rijilla wara. One step forward, one step backwards. Thank you for joining me today. If you liked today's video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more expressions and idioms, you could check it over here in this playlist or in this playlist. See you there. Yalla bye!